Okay, number three, it is given that dy over dx is equal to this one. If dy over dx is equal to this one, and this one is this one, find the value of p. Okay, this is the first one. Subsequently, find the value of y. Okay, this is the second one. So we see here we have dy over dx, we have dy over dx, so we can compare. So this one is 10x plus p over x squared. So this is the first dy over dx is equal to, so this one is 20r. So we see here y is equal to 12 when x is equal to 2. So how to find y? So we know from dy over dx to go to y, we need to do integration where the integration so integration to find y so we have x is equal to 2 so we can use y is equal to 19 and x is equal to 2 to find p so we can use this set to find p first so we see here x is equal to 2 when x is equal to 2 this one is 10 2 plus p over 2 square is equal to this one is 20 half or we can say 41 over 2. So this one is equal to 10 times 2 is 20 plus P over 2 square is 4 is equal to 41 over 2. So we don't want to have denominator here. So we multiply everything with 4. So this one 20 times 4 we get 80. This one can be cancelled out. This one is plus sorry. So plus P. And is equal to 41 times 4. So we can cancel out here. So 41 times 2 is equal to 82. So P is equal to, we bring 80 to the back. So we got 82 minus 80, which is equal to 2. So here we have P is equal to 2. So here, now, we wanted to find equation. So we here, when we want to find Y, for this format delete. So why we need to do integration. So here we have the equation, right? dy over dx is equal to 10x plus p over x squared. So we have found p before, which is 2. So which is 10x plus p is 2 over x squared. So we can see here, we can bring this one up. So 10x plus 2x negative. So we know that y is the integration of 10x plus 2x negative 2 dx. So we know that integration is opposite, is opposite to differentiation. So what we do in differentiation is that we bring the power front and then we minus the power with 1. But for integration, first, it's different. We add power, we add power and then we divide with power so we see here this is x so we add power x is equal to x to the power of 1 so we add power so 10 x would be x square divided by power power is 2 plus so this one is 2 so we add power so here is x negative 2 so x negative 2 plus 1 divided by negative 2 plus 1 is equal to negative 1. Okay, but don't forget, when we do differentiation, whenever we have constant, for example, if we have uh, y is equal to 2, right? So dy over dx is equal to 0. So we know that differentiation of a constant, we will get 0. So when we do integration, we don't know what is the constant, so we just write it as c. So here 10 divided by 2 is 5 x square. So this one is so this one is 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. And this one is x negative 2 plus 1. We get x negative 1 plus c. So here we get 5 x square minus 2 over x plus c. So we have y is equal to 5 x square minus 2 over x plus c. And we have this set. So we have that when x is equal to 2, 9 is equal to 19. So you see here when we substitute, we can get what is our c. 
So here when y is equal to 19, 19 is equal to 5, this one is 2 square minus 2 over 2 plus c. So 19 is equal to 5 times 4, 2 square is equal to 4, right? So 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So 2 over 2 is equal to 1 plus c. So here 19 is equal to 19 plus c. So c is equal to, you bring this one to the left. So you get 19 minus 19, which is equal to 0. So the final equation is 5 is equal to 5x. Y is equal to 5x square minus 2 over x. So we see here, find the value of y when x is equal to negative 2. So if we have this point here, negative 2, then what is our y? So we can substitute x inside here and find what is our y. So here, why we don't know yet, right? So which is 5x is equal to negative 2 square minus 2 over here. Sorry, this one is negative 2. So this one is negative 2. So which is 5, this one is 4. So here minus negative 2 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 1. So 20 plus 1 which is equal to 21. So here when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 21. Given that dy over dx is this one, so dy over dx and y is equal to negative 20 when x is equal to 3. Find the value of y when x is equal to this one, right? Okay, so here we know that when we wanted to find y, we need to do in the equation. So we see here dy over dx is equal to 4x cubed minus 15x squared plus 6. So we don't have any constant here. This is the constant, right? 6. So we can integrate. So, so integrate is opposite with differentiation. So here what we did is that we add power. We add power with 1 and then we divide power. So add power first, then divide the power. So we see here, so y is equal to integration of 4x cubed minus 15x squared plus 6. Right? So we see here, add power and divide power. So we see here, is equal to, so we see here, add power and divide power. So here for 4, this one, so in terms of x, right? So here we see, this is x. So we take out 4 because 4 is constant. So this one would be, so power of 3 plus 1, 3 plus 1, you get 4. And then divide the power with, divide with the power. So minus 15. So we have x square here. So x Square plus 1, 2 plus 1 is x3 divided by the power. So this one is 6. So we know that 6 is equal to 6x power of 0, right? Because we know x power of 0 is 1. So in this case, so x0 plus 1, we get 6x. So we know that when we do uh, differentiation, the 1 with constant will become 0. I explained it in 3 before. So we just add C, which uh, represent a constant which is missing, which we have different C. So here and here can be cut off. So Y is equal to, this one is X4. So 15 divided by 3, we get 5 minus 5X3. And this one is plus 6X and plus C. Okay, so it say that, so find the value so this is the first one, right? So we see here when x is equal to 3, y is equal to negative 20. So we see here when we have x and y, we can find what is c, thus finding what is our constant and the full equation. So here, so when y is equal to negative 20, so negative 20 is equal to x is equal to 3, right? So this is 3 to power of 4 minus 5. 3 power of 3 plus 6, 3 plus C.
negative 20 is equal to eighty one minus part twenty seven plus eighteen plus C. So this one is equal to minus thirty six plus C is equal to negative twenty. So C is equal to so we bring this one to the left, we get negative twenty plus thirty six. So we see here negative, we change to positive. So here we get 16. So we know that C is equal to 16. So the equation is Y is equal to X4 minus 5X3 plus 6X plus 16. Okay. Now find the value of Y when X is equal to negative 2. So here when x is equal to negative 2, y is y. So we see here we have this equation. So you can see that when you substitute x, you can directly get what is y. So y is equal to negative 2 power of 4 minus 5, negative 2 power of 3 plus 6, negative 2 plus 16. So this one is equal to negative 2 power of 4 is 16 minus 5. This one is negative 8. Negative 2 power of 3, negative 8. This one is minus 12 plus 16. So here we get sixty. So here y is equal to 60. So B, given that this is dy over dx, so this is the set of coordinate which is 2 and 2. Find the value of x when y is equal to negative 6. So we know that uh, when we are talking about x and y, so here we see the y here from dy over dx, we need to do integration. So we see here dy over dx is equal to 2x plus 2. So when we want to find y, y is equal to integration of this one, 2x plus 2. So this one is dx. dx means in term of x. So here for integration, we add the power with 1 and divide with power. So this one is actually x power of 1. So we have x2 divided by 2. So you see here add power with 1, divide with power, this one plus 2. So 2, we just add up the x. And don't forget lastly, we need to add a constant. right? So here we have y is equal to this one and this one can be cut off so we get x squared plus 2x plus c so we see here if we directly do this so find the x so we see find x when y is equal to negative 6 so if we substitute y we see here we have two unknown here so we cannot do that to find what is x we need to only have one unknown so we have this set where when we substitute we can get what is our c. So when the equation is 2, 2, when the coordinate is 2, 2, so when y is equal to 2, x is equal to 2 square plus 2, 2 plus c. So 2 is equal to 2 square is 4 plus 4 plus c. 2 is equal to 8 plus c. C is equal to, so we bring 8 to the left. 2 minus 8 is equal to negative 6. So now we get the equation y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 6. So we see here when, what is x when y is equal to negative 6. So we have this equation here. You see here with only y and x. So when we substitute y, we can get what is our x. So y is equal to negative 6. So negative 6 is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 6. So we want to make it 0 so that we can factorize. So x squared plus 2x minus 6. So when we bring x to the right, we get plus 6 is equal to 0. So we can see that this one and this one will become 0. So x squared plus 2x is equal to 0. So we can take out x. So x plus 2 is equal to 0. So we can see here x is equal to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0, right? So x is equal to negative 2. So here x can be, so x can be, so, 
So here we get two values. So we see here when y is equal to negative 6, x is equal to 0 or x is equal to negative 2. It can be either both.